Hopefulness 2.0, April 9th. It's hot. It's not nearly as hot as it was yesterday. Um, and speaking of, uh, my lady, she uh, she mentioned putting an AC unit. So that'll be great when the time comes. Just have to you know, coordinate stuff to make it to where that can be done. I don't know precisely when or where it's happening, so you know, maybe, but whatever. Um, it's been a long day. It's almost 7 o'clock. It's about 7 o'clock. <coughs> I just finished. Um, look, I just put in. Um, I just put a carrot cake in the oven, um, and it has uh, 16 minutes left. Now, you're in order for me to even test to see if it's fine, uh, but I got up earlier today, just kind of screwing around like normal, and then I was like, oh yeah, we're doing like this raid thing that we, we set ourselves up to do, and we did that for six hours and some change. <laughs> So that was a bit. Um, that, was, that was a good chunk of the day. And then when I was done, that was when I decided, okay, I'll go ahead and do the, the carrot cake. I gotta take a shower after the carrot cake's done though, after it's like, after I pull it out, have it start cooling, I'm gonna take a shower, because I'm just, I feel gross. Um, I wrote down a bunch of stuff yesterday that I did. And then, um, I forgot to write stuff down today. <laughs> That's because it was busy with the video game. Um, but I, I wasn't able to get in touch with anybody that I, was supposed to, that I was trying to get in touch with this week. So I sent a text to my buddy who works with the Silver Living Place. And so I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll try that out. And he said they'd get back with me on uh, Monday. So we'll see what happens there. It's only 15 bucks an hour, which isn't much. I mean, even at 40 hours a week, you know, that's what... Well, that's like 15 times 4, 60, that's 600 a week. Um, now, that's how much I was making doing nothing during, you know, 2020 and 2021. And so it's not, you know, an unreasonable amount of money. But that's if I'm working 40 hours a week. That's if, etc., etc., etc. And yeah, that would pay for my rent, but I mean, that's before taxes too, so I'll have to, uh, you know, I'm still going to, I'm still going to be looking for jobs in a way, just because, but if I get it, then it'll at least mitigate my expenses, it'll make it to where, I can, you know, things are doable, I won't have to fear, um, moving out of here and um, yeah so and you know I'm going to be up front with them about that too it's like look I mean, I'm taking it because I need it and blah 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 but um, yeah so we shall see oh yeah I haven't shown uh, I'm going to turn the light on. It's getting kind of dark. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of darky. That doesn't make any sense. But it's whatever. It's all I can think of. <laughs> but the frosting is here. Now it's on the thicker side because it's been sitting in the fridge all day. And, you know, I don't have a stand mixer that's going to do, you know, all the workhorse type stuff, so... It's not going to be as smooth as if I was going to do it that way. And I don't have a hand mixer. Um, and I did what I could to make it work. And I'm going to cover it back up. And the reason I have it covered in the first place is so that it can effectively, you know, thaw out, come to room temperature, so that I can then put it on the cake when the cake is fully, uh, fully cool. And I would say that my measurements were all pretty good. You know, I was trying my best to do one-third, one-third, one-third of all this stuff. If 
think the only thing that I really ended up going over on, because if anything, I undershot most of them. Um, but if I went over on anything, it's most likely the salt, because I ended up almost, because like the original recipe is two tablespoons, or teaspoons, rather. Right? And I put in over a teaspoon. Because <laughs> I was like, oh shit, wait, what? Ah, oh, crap. And it was mixed in with all the dries and stuff, and I was like, whatever. Because, I mean, I, don't ha I have all of these little things, but I mean, I use them in so many ways. And, and to... the, the mise en place thing is, is weird for me. I mean, I know it, that's the better way to do it, but it's harder for me to delineate and do it that way. Um, you know, I'm the kind of person I just want to get into it and do it. Uh, because if I don't, then usually what happens is, is I forget. Like, okay, with, with the, uh, the cream cheese and stuff, I made it yesterday. And I let, I let it thaw on everything. But I let it thaw for like eight hours almost. Or something like that. Because I, I, I forgot. I mean, it's literally in this room. I would walk past it every time I needed to use a restroom or I came in here to, you know, make a bowl of cereal or whatever it was. But I still forgot about it. Because, like, that is a, that my brain don't want to do the thing. Uh, and I found out yesterday. Oh, I'll give this some. Uh, some TMI territory here in a second. But this stuff, oh man. Not only is it good, but it makes you feel good when you poop. <laughs> it's like, towards the end of the evening, before I had to go to bed, I was like, oh, you know, gassy and everything, and then I, you know, I go take a dump, and it's just like, it's like I had lost five pounds. <laughs> it felt so good. But anyway, um, enough about my BM. It smells good in here. The uh, frosting, the, you know, that is thawing out. I'm starting to emit more scent. I'm starting to smell more of the cake. Um, and I toasted up all the pecans you know, yesterday and I crushed them up before it was time to do anything today. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I have a better idea of what I need to do. Um, I think one of the, so, okay, with the eggs, the full recipe is four eggs. Okay. Now, it's hard to split an egg in, in half. Because I mean, if you, if, even then, I'm trying to oh, split a negative of thirds, it's still difficult. So, what I did was, is I took one of the yolks from another egg and then incorporated it. And so it's a little different. Now, could I have just done the full gam gam gamut of stuff and then, you know, just the... It, probably. But then I'd have to store it and I don't know how well it stores and all of those things. I just wanted to do it all in one, one go, see how well it works. And if it turns out fine, then it turns out fine. Um, and because the emulsification, the, the more emulsive, the emulsifying power of an egg, if you will, is in the yolk, I was like, well, let's see how that works. Now the next time I do it, I'm going to try it with the egg white that I already have in there and another egg and see how well that works. So there's a bit of experimentation that's going on. Now because this bowl was just, I mean, it's full up of frosting, um, I couldn't use it as a mixing bowl. And so I started off with, you know, one of the bigger glass bowls. And then I was like, okay, well, what about, should I gonna mix the, um, the dry stuff? And then I'm like, oh, well, shit, I gotta, you know. <laughs> so it's like multiple different bowls. I ended up using the uh, the pot um, as my final mixing bowl. It worked out though. But yeah, so we'll see how well that turns out. 
Um, I'm hot. I'm sweaty. My voice hurts even though I haven't really been talking that much today. I don't know why. It's not even so much that it hurts. It's just it feels like I've been using it all day even though I really haven't been. <clears throat> I do talk to myself a lot, so that might be a thing too. And apparently I just completely forgot to upload an entire video and that is gone because I ended up deleting it too. So like, I don't even remember what happened on the 4th of April. Oh well. I still recorded. <laughs> I just don't remember what it was and it doesn't matter anymore because the day's over and the video is gone. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, so have fun.